Hi all, welcome to my channel. I'm Alex Hubbard. I'm a senior system admin and cybersecurity consultant. Um, this is a question that I have been asked numerous times over the years by um, other techs that are looking to get out of the support and operations side of the house and break into uh, cybersecurity. Uh, I see this question posted constantly over on some of the subreddits that I follow and Facebook groups that are all dedicated to cybersecurity. How do you make the switch from support or operations you know, into a cybersecurity role? And for me, the answer was slowly. Uh, over the past four to five years, it probably took me a good three to get into a dedicated cyber role. You know, keep in mind in this video, these are my opinions, my experiences, and everyone that you talk to in this field is gonna have different advice for you. Uh, this is what worked for me, this is how I did it. If you like these videos, please consider subscribing to the channel and liking the videos. Uh, you can also follow along on Instagram at ACH underscore sysadmin and Facebook at ACH sysadmin. For me, work experience plays a key role in when you want to switch tracks in IT. Uh, start looking at things that you're doing and how you can move those to your next career, your next, your next track within IT. Um, I spent the majority of my career in the support and operations side of the house. You know, I, I started my career as a help desk tech and have you know, worked my way up and have held many roles you know, leading up to where I am today. You know, I've always found security, cybersecurity, I, I find it fascinating. Um, it wasn't until recently that, you know, recently in my career that I've had the opportunity to, to make the switch to a full on cybersecurity role. I spent plenty of time trying to apply and get my foot in the door to a dedicated cyber role with, you know, little to no response. Uh, you know, I might get a phone screen, something like that, and, you know, never, never got anybody to take that, you know, take that bite. And, you know, it made sense. My resume just didn't read as a security guy, a uh, cybersecurity guy. It read as a system admin. So how do you break into the cybersecurity field when you've spent the last decade or more in support? Uh, again, for me, that was the answer was slowly. Uh, I began, I, you know, I began to look at what programs I was implementing, what I was doing for uh, different employers. You know, what can I put on my resume that I can speak to that might change it a little bit so that it wasn't reading as a full-on sysadmin. You know, I surrounded myself with other you know knowledgeable colleagues and consultants who I could pick their brains about you know whatever I might be implementing at the time. You know, this is where some of the traction for me happened. Uh, I worked for one company where I implemented CrowdStrike. I brought in auditors. I built out a full security program, and I could speak to it and I could put it on my resume. Uh, I leveraged good products, known products in the security field, and we put those in place. We built policies around them, and that got the ball rolling for me. That got my foot in the door at the next employer who had saw what I built and you know we had conversations around that. And while I didn't initially start with them in the security field or well, security in a security role, I was able to move into a security role because once I started there they could see what I was capable of doing and they built a cybersecurity role dedicated just for me. And that was when the transition was complete. I had made it out of support, I was into security, and you know, I've since then I've transitioned to several other roles within cybersecurity, but I've stayed in cybersecurity, you know, trying to figure out what my niche is. Cybersecurity is a very vast career path. It's very deep. There are many tracks you can go down. You know, if you like policy stuff, you can go down the, the policy route. If you like you know, the more hands-on technical approach, you can go down pen testing, and there's just many different paths you can go down to, you know, go through and explore. All right, let's talk a little about education and certification. You now, plenty of folks have made it in IT and cyber without any kind of formal education. Uh, this really depends on your skill set and what you can do. For me, my background, I have a bachelor's degree in network engineering, and I can absolutely, without a doubt, say having this degree has opened doors for me that might not have been open if I didn't have it. And up until now, I've been able to progress my career the last decade or, or so, you know, with just having that degree, uh, without having any kind of certificates, etc. You know, I'm currently looking to pursue my master's in cybersecurity. Is it something that's really necessary? Do you really need a master's? In this field, likely not. You can 
probably get away with some high level certs and be just as well off, but it sets you apart. And for me, it's a personal goal that I've been, you know, kind of itching to do. So kind of pursuing that in my off time. Um, you know, it sets you, everything you do sets you apart from the rest of the crowd. If you have a high level degree and a lot of high level certifications, you're gonna stand out from the guy who maybe just has a couple or no certifications, you know. Uh, so those are kind of routes that I'm pursuing personally um, that will help you break into this field. You know, and it really depends on who you talk to in, in IT and cybersecurity in general and what their opinion or what value they place on these particular items. I've worked with professionals over the years who have literally point blank told me, certs are a waste of money, I'd rather see experience on your resume, or I'd rather see a bachelor's degree, I'd rather see a master's degree. And I've also worked with professionals over the years who have legit alphabet soup after their name and put a, you know, they say don't, you know, a degree is not really necessary, but your certs are more important, you know, that type of thing. It, so it really depends on who you talk to. Every IT person, every security person is gonna have a different answer for you. It comes down to, you know, what you wanna do. My personal belief is that I think you stand out on paper better with an education, certifications, and experience, and you can couple those three together. Uh, that being said, I've interviewed and worked with many people over the years who you can really tell are passionate about their career choice. You know, I find there are two types of people in this field. There are people that are passionate about it, who eat, sleep, drink, breathe, security and IT. And then I find there are people that are just in it because it's a job and they were able to get into it. Um, you know, the folks that go home and continue to expand their knowledge, expand their skill set, those are the ones I would hire and want to work alongside. If I had two candidates that came in and said, you know, one could be perfect on paper and one that could be, uh, you know, that was working on their education, but, you know, they were, you know, they had projects they were working on, like they were actively, you know, trying to better themselves versus the guy who just had some paper that said, I can do this. You know, I'm, I personally would probably pick to work with a guy that, or, or girl or whoever, um, you know, that was, building their lab at home and you know could speak to the stuff that they've done and they were you could tell you could tell they're passionate about it um so that's me i'm passionate about the stuff um you know so that's kind of who i would hire if i was if the roles were reversed well, i hope this video has been helpful and able to give you some insight into how to switch your career path from a support operations role to a cybersecurity role. These are things that worked for me, these are things that I did, and how I have moved my career from an operations and support role to a full-time cybersecurity role. Um, I still dabble in support, I'm just that kind of a guy. <laughs> um, I, I like having my hands in a lot of stuff. Um, this is how I did it. It, it takes time, it doesn't happen overnight. Um, the biggest part, part, piece of advice that I can give you is to keep at it. Keep learning, don't get discouraged, keep educating yourself, uh, formally or otherwise. Security and IT in general is constantly evolving. If you're not keeping up, if you're not educating yourself, you're going to be left behind. Embrace the changes, embrace learning something new, and with that, I am out of here. I will see you in the next video. Please consider liking and subscribing below.